Hey fellow mutants, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the next episode, well, at least the next episode I have yet to review for, the Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, being called Mikey Takes Charge Review. And this um, episode's name actually does a good job of or of hinting what we can expect which is Michael Angelo taking charge of a situation um so Michael Angelo is sent to uh get groceries with one of the punk frogs and we see that purple dragons at the grocery store ready to rob the place. And at first, Michelangelo is like, he's not picking up the painfully obvious signs until like he gets closer to the register saying, wait, are you guys sailing the place? So there's a fight between the purple dragons and Mikey. And then essentially, we see this electric eel join the battle. And by, like, to keep in context, it's storming in this episode. And there's water by the time the electric eel gets into the mix. Uh, he... What's the word? Mike Angelo takes charge on how to beat the electric eel. And he does. He ends up capturing the electric eel, getting the people out of the building. Two older people falls in love. And um, then we essentially get Splinter going back to uh, saying, this is how this story happens. The neighbor asks, what's next? And Spencer says, I guess this is like in real time in this show. He's still speaking Roman. But we're getting like, I guess Raphael still like doing the um, the voice acting for Splinter. Um, and we get a hint of what two characters are going to be from all, like be the main spoke center poise point second poise second um entry point to the series and it's going to be april and kate uh, april I'm, i want to say april and casey april and splinter in the next episode so this is going to be interesting again i think the whole reason why they do the whole writing thing it was to save them money to get um, Jackie Chan, which is why they got the Raphael rock actor to force him. Because I do think that Jackie Chan was like, one, too busy to making Karate Kid. And two, it probably was too expensive to call upon Jackie Chan. So, I... I mean, this isn't wasn't exactly a horrible episode. Like I said, I do enjoy this show more than the movie, but that doesn't mean that I like feel like this honors the lore of the Ninja Turtles. Because I still don't really feel one hundred percent that um, this series or this you know first of the Turtles honors Turtles lore. I'm not trying to be mean. That's just how I feel. Um, I 
I I'm trying to think of what else I can say what I like to dislike. I can't really say much more. It's because some of my likes I said on like other episodes. The other seven episodes about how I like the animation in here more than I like the in the movie. I like the voice acting. And the uh, first six episodes were definitely good. But I wonder how this... Because I know there's going to be a season two. I know there's going to be a Mutant Mayhem too. That this series will tie into. So I wonder how this specific arc, if any, will have... Like, how will it have any impact on the Mutant Mayhem sequel? I am curious. Anywho, what do you fellow me just think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Love you all. Have a wonderful day. Be kind one another. Talk to you fellow missions later. Yeah! You like what you saw? Then give it up for it!